Welcome back to Genuine Gora guys. This is the 14th video in the JavaFX library software development tutorial series and the previous video we have seen how to issue a book and we have completed this issue but now we want to do the coding for the book renew and submission section. So our aim is the first thing we have to do is when we press or enter the v100 here we have to display the complete information about the issued book including the person who is currently holding the book and the info about the book and the date and time of the issue operation and including the fine i mean fine amount if any so let's do the coding so uh, in the main.fx ml i'm going to the renew submission section and here this is the field where the admin enters the book id so enter book id i'm going to give uh, the name or when uh, he do an action i mean after entering the book id when he press the enter button we have to load book info for o2 so i'm going to do that so load book information book information then coming back to the main or fxml make controller so now we have this function load book info too so we have to have an id for this book id also so book id okay that's fine i think then coming back here main.fxml make controller now i got the book id now we have to take the book id so string book id oh, it's already used so book id equals book id dot get text i'm just making this as id so that's fine now we have to write a query to access the issue information so string query equals select star from issue which is a table where book id or simply uh, i just want to have a look into the database handler and in the issue section we give the name book id so that's fine then book id equals single quotes then id plus single quotes so that's it now we have to get the result set so result set rs equals database handler dot execute query now the result of the query is stored in the rs now as always we are going for rs dot next and it will throw some exceptions so we will have to cache that surround statement with try catch and there are four fields so first field is string uh, book id equals so book ids are again used so we already have the book id so we don't want that uh, so in this case i'm going for m book id m book id and here I am going to store it as ID. Then next I want the M member ID, the holding member. So that can be get using as dot get string and the column name was member ID. Now we want to access some more data that is the renew count and the issue time. So we have to get a date time i mean it's written timestamp so i'm going to create a timestamp object so timestamp m time or m issue time equals rs dot get timestamp then we have to give the column name and the column name was issue time so we will get the issue time from there now we just want an integer re uh, renew count so m renew count equals rs dot get int then we go for the column name renew count so from the we will get the enough data uh, now we have the for data now we have to fetch more information about the book and the member id so by using this book id we can select the whole information about the book from the book table and using the member id we can fetch the data from the member so for that we have to write another query so select again select a star from book where id equals single column single uh, quote then plus m book id plus single quotes 
then we will have to have another result set so result set r1 equals database handler dot execute query and i am going for qu then while r1 dot has next or simply next then we will fetch the information about the book from there and similarly we have to fetch data from the member table also so q u equals select a star from member where id equals m member id then we will go for r1 equals database handler dot next and that's it now what we are looking for is we want to display the entire information about the book and the member and the issue information here in this list view so in order to show some data on list view we have to have an observable list so i'm going to create an observable list i just don't want to go there here i'm going to create an observable list so observable list of string type then issue data equals then we have to create an instance so for that fx collections dot observable array list so that's fine now we have to enter data about this one so issue data first we have to uh, display the uh, issue date time and the renew count so for that I'm going to add that into the issue data so issue data dot add and I'm going to create new string so for a string I'm going to issue date and time then I'm going to give m issue time dot to string so I'm uh, we will do the timestamp formatting a little bit later using Jorda date time library which is a great library for now I'm going to use the 2g empty string then issue data uh, this will convert the, the uh, timestamp which that contains both the date and time into a string which can be seen when we run the program so issue data dot add then uh, we want to display the renew count so renew count and we will give the m renew count so that's fine then uh, the next thing that we have to show is the book information uh, so here i'm going to add issue data dot add book information then we will add it here then i am going to repeat that i am using this uh, using alt shift f for moving statements then book, first book information is definitely the book name so book name can be taken using as dot get string title then again instead of book name we are going for order so that's definitely the order then one more data that is publisher then here we are going for publisher then we have book id so book ID then here uh, we can actually get that ID from here I'm just accessing it right from the database result set so that's fine now we have to take a copy of here and coming back to here so here we are displaying the member information and I'm going to repeat that so here we are accessing data from the member table so first member name name and I'm going to add the as dot get string name then we have mobile number and email so mobile then email so here again mobile and email so we got that much data and finally after fetching all this data we have to associate this list I mean this observable list with the list view so before that we have to give a name for this list view so I'm going to issue data list coming back to the code main.fxml make controller then issue data list dot get items dot set to all and finally we will give the issue data so I think this will be enough 
there is an error. This error can be fixed by defining the type of data that we are displaying in the list view. So I'm going to the uh, issue data list section and here you can see that we haven't defined the data type. So string no the error should be gone. So that's it and there is some little errors that we have left here. I mean uh, we can't access the rs.get string here our result set is r1 so I'm going for the r1.get string so that's good and here also the result set data type is r1 so that's fine now let's run our program so I'm going to the renew submission section and the previously issued book was b100 so I'm going to enter that and press enter so you can see that we got the entire data I mean the issue date was 14th November 1039 and renew code it hasn't renewed yet and book information include book name book ID book author and book publisher is ABCD and member information and that's it so that's guy that's uh, how we retrieve the entire data about the issued book and I think it has been some time since we started this video so in the very next video I will show you how to implement the submission and then we will go for the renew operation so as always thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more cool videos